Hi everybody, this is Everyday Commentary, and this is a video overview of this knife. And this knife is a French knife, uh, and it is the uh, La Francais from Percival Knives. And Percival Knives is a French knife company uh, that is in, I think it's Thiers, which is uh, basically Maggiano, Italy, but in France. And they make a number of different knives. They make some folding knives, so they make some kitchen knives, they make some outdoor fixed blades, like hunting style knives. But this knife here uh, runs uh, 19C27, uh, which is a Sandvik steel. Uh, it's a little different than 14C28N, uh, and it is a little different than 13C27. Um, it's a little tougher, it has a little more carbon than uh, those steels, uh, and uh, it's usually used in industrial cutters. So this knife is one of their one of their folding knives, and I think that a lot of times these knives are used as food prep. Though I think one of the things that I was really surprised about when I got this knife was how sturdy it is. The liners, I mean, you can see right here. Let's see. Those are some pretty beefy liners. I mean, for for what it is, this is a, a really stout, well-made knife. You can see here there's a stop pin here, and then there are one, two, and then surprise, three backspacers. Um, I got a model made with juniper, which is a wood that has a very interesting smell to it. When you when you handle this knife and put it in your hands, your hands come, come away smelling peppery. Um, juniper is one of the ingredients in gin. In fact, the name gin comes from the French for juniper. So, um, if you like the smell of gin, if you like the smell of pepper, this is a really interesting knife to have. Um, they make it in a bunch of different scales. You can get it super, super expensive. You can get it in ivory, you can get it in tortoise shell. The juniper wood was the cheapest one, and I wanted to buy this one because I didn't want to go like super crazy. I wasn't sure if I was going to like this knife at all. Um, one of the things I do have to say is this is a really elegant design. Like, there's no no baloney here. Everything is really well made. Everything is really well put together. Look, uh, you can see. I mean, it just is super simple. It's a flat ground blade. It came razor sharp. And this lock back, or this uh, liner lock, is super, super, super sturdy. I mean, I'm gonna get no blade play anyway, any direction. The blade in is three and a half inches long. Um, but the whole knife weighs just over one and a half ounces. There's not a whole lot here. Uh, one of the things that's interesting, aside from the juniper wood scales, is the way that they did the liner lock. Let's see if I can zoom in here. See, there's sort of like a cutout or a dent in the blade so that it rides on the, the liner. There is a detent ball, but this ball, this thing is never coming out until it hits the point where the blade clears. It's actually pretty stiff, so there's something kind of, it's not exactly like a half stop, but it kind of functions like a half stop, so like right there, you kind of have to push it in. Once you open it past that though, it's just super, super smooth. Um, the little cutout here for your thumb is excellent and well done. Uh, overall, I was really surprised. I thought I was going to get something kind of junky like a like one of the Laguiole um, knives that you find in like William and Sonoma that are kind of look nice but aren't very well made. This thing is rock solid and while they may have made it for a uh, knife to be used to like do fancy things like cut cheese and bread and Stefan Schmalhaus's video certainly does a lot of cheese cutting and bread cutting. I actually think this could be used as an everyday carry knife. I mean. This is something that's super slim, it's not going to scare anybody even though it's relatively big, and it weighs hardly anything at all. Plus, you get the uh, wonderful smell of juniper in your pocket. Um, uh, again, not the most, uh, inner, uh, you know, this is not going to be a, a flipper, there's not a whole lot to fidget with. The nail nick ain't that great, but it, it works. Uh, I prefer a deeper nail nick. One thing that I will note is this knife is a pain in the butt to get. There are some distributors in the United States for Percival knives, but they do not carry these knives. They carry some of their um, like cooking knives. So in order to get this, you have to go to 
Percival, and then the English site, and then the UK distributor, and then the French, uh, like, pay site, which will then translate into English, and it's just, it was just an enormous hassle. And of course my credit card freaked out because I brought something from France, but the bottom line is it's just a bear to go and get these knives. I wish somebody would carry them in the United States because they're actually quite well made. Um, I put this on par with something like a, a Bark River or an Almar. I mean, it's just a really simple, very well made, very elegant design. So when you get a chance, go, go check out some of their knives. They make a couple of different designs. Uh, they make one that's kind of like a modern folder, but if you're going to buy a knife like this, why would you buy a modern folder from Percival? So uh, go check out their knives. Uh, they're pretty interesting. I'm not sure what I'm going to do in terms of a review on this one. Usually I have like some idea, but like it's just so nice and so different. It's really hard for me to say like, oh yeah, this is a great knife, but you could definitely use it for EDC. It's much sturdier than like an open owl or the like we all that you find at like Williams and Sonoma. So this is the La Francais from Percival Knives.